morning so as you can see on the title i got my first ever what i eat in a day video um yesterday on my facebook i posted a picture of me weighing myself 30 pounds less than i was before and a few of my friends asked me um to show them like what how it works and what i eat in a day so they can get an idea of how this uh lifestyle is so yeah i'm gonna be filming throughout the day what i've been eating to get all this weight off me for me i'm not even close to my uh goal weight but it's something that i i know i need to do for my health so i keep pushing through and i know i can do this and yeah i was like really happy when a few of my friends were really interested about this lifestyle so i was like you know what i'm gonna record a video so you can get an idea of you know like how it works by any means, I'm no nutritionist or a doctor, but this diet has been working for me. It's almost saved my life because I feel so much better. I have so much energy. Um, I just love the changes in my body. And um, yeah, I hope you all enjoy. And let me say two quick things. Before you start any diet, talk to your doctor about it and do your research. That's all I'm gonna say. And don't think it's gonna work from one day to the next because that's how I gave up. Like in 2017, I did it. I tried it once and I lost 10 pounds, but I gave up too fast. And I wanted results instantly, instantly. And that's not how it works. You gotta be patient and work hard for it. So uh, like I said, I've lost 30 pounds. And I am working to lose another 30. So yeah, um, I hope you like this video. If you like this and you wanna see more of what I eat in a day, let me know in the comments down below. Okay, I forgot to mention uh, one little thing. When you're on keto, uh, you're basically eating 20 grams of carb per day. So that means no pasta, no breads, no rice, no beans, no potatoes, no sweet potatoes. Um, no starchy veggies, vegetables, I need my coffee. But um, there is a lot of veggies and proteins that you eat throughout the day, your good fats. And basically your body goes into ketosis and that means that you're, you're using your store fat uh, in your body to, they're gonna be using it for energy. So that's what basically keto is. So that's how you lose so much weight because your own body is breaking down all the fats uh, to produce energy for you to function throughout the day so yep that's it uh keto flu is the worst i suggest that you start drinking your electrolytes from day one um, okay guys so i'm not that hungry it's um 10 20 and i'm gonna make me just my bulletproof coffee uh that's one thing one like popular thing about keto bulletproof coffee it's made w with your coffee and then you add coconut um, coconut oil, butter, uh, heavy whipping cream if you want, and then any kind of sugar-free um, syrups. But I have been doing mine only with coconut oil and heavy whipping cream. I don't add butter to mine. I used to. I don't like that much. And that's just to get your fats in. Okay, so we're going to start making that coffee. This is uh, coconut oil right here. This is the one I bought like a few months ago. Organic coconut oil. And then I got my heavy whipping cream here. I do one tablespoon of this and four of this. And in total, I get 34 grams of carbs. I mean, 34 grams of fat for uh, for this coffee here. So this is a good way to get your fats in. And I'm going to show you real quick. This is what I have on my carb manager. I got 22 grams of carb per day, 109 protein, and 135 fats. Making my coffee right now. I got my black coffee right here. And then I'm gonna do four tablespoons of this heavy whipping cream. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Hold on. Oh, Jesus.
Okay, this is my favorite part of the day. If you know me, you know I love coffee. You see that? It's so yummy. Mm-hmm. So mocha, so mochi flavor. I use mocha syrup and it's so good. It's perfect for me. That's what I love doing it. If you want to try it with butter, go knock yourself out. I don't like it. Like I said, it's too buttery. So this is enough uh, fats for me. So we're going to head out the door and I'll see you in a it's little bit. It's now 12, 29. And I'm going to start making uh, lunch. But I'm getting a little snack while I cook. I'm getting hungry. I didn't have breakfast. Just have my coffee. And I'm not that hungry, but I'm getting there. So I'm having a quarter cup of almonds. This is a good uh, source of fats. Um, and then I buy these at Aldi's. These are so good. I love them. And then uh, you got to start learning. I forgot to mention, but you uh, got to start learning how to read your nutrition facts on everything you eat so you can track your macros. So for a quarter cup, I'm going to have uh, of almonds. Uh, it's going to be 170 calories in here. What it says total carbs, uh, it's five grams, but then you always subtract the dietary fiber. So I'm gonna have two uh, net carbs after I eat a quarter cup of almonds. And like I say, it's a good source of fats. And then I'm gonna have a Where few. Are you eating my almonds? Go away. No, wait, that's mine. I'll give you a few. Can I have some? Oh my god. Yes, yeah, here. Thank you. Give brother some. Thank you, guys. And then I'm gonna have a few of the strawberries, just like maybe um two strawberries. I like cutting mine up, so um, it's easier for me just to grab and eat. Um, on this diet or lifestyle or way of eating, you're limited to only like uh, berries, strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, and such in small amounts, because they do tend to have a lot of carbs. These are so good. I got them at all these too. But this is going to be my snack while I make lunch. Don't forget to drink your water, guys. This will help you get into ketosis a lot faster. So, yeah, drink up. making my quesadilla this is a low carb tortilla i get them at sam's and it's like four net carbs per tortilla and i got like about one chicken tender uh diced up and then i'm gonna add two tablespoons of shredded cheese um i use the sharp cheddar cheese so i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna add a little bit of my sauce that i like making it's uh just like two tablespoons of ranch and hot sauce It's lunchtime. I have half an avocado here with a little bit of salt, pepper, and lemon because I like it like that. And then I got a chicken quesadilla, as you saw previously. So, yep, this here is so yummy. So, bon appetit. I'll see you in a little bit. and it's 4 27 i'm a little bit hungry and i am um i made myself a little salami play with some cheese one cheese string six bits of the salami um i get a, i get a, all this is the the one that i like and then uh, about one one or two ounces of um uh fried pork rinds we love this as you can see it's almost gone it's just me the kids and the husband for snacks it's really good so i'm having this 
and then I made me an iced coffee. I made my own cinnamon dolce iced coffee because mama needs it and <laughs> I was craving some coffee. Okay guys, and for dinner, here's my last meal of the day. I have about um, half cup of cauliflower rice with Parmesan cheese, a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top, and then about a cup of uh, green beans and one tilapia filet. And I just drizzle a little, a little bit of the sauce I made earlier today for the quesadilla. So yeah, that's my dinner. Thanks so much for watching. I like guys, I'm having a little bit of this cookies and creams ice cream, the Rebel brand, you can find them at Walmart. This is so creamy and delicious. And for the whole thing is eight grams of carbs, but as you can see, I this is like leftover from the other day. So I'm having like about a two third cup of it. And uh, it's 18 minus 3, that's 15, but then you subtract the sugar alcohols too. So 15 minus 12 is 3. So for all this, I'm going to be eating only 3 grams of carbs. And that is it for tonight. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.